Afternoon, afternoon, folks. This is another session I want to engage on some factors here concerning the recent mass shooting in the United States where more than 10 people were shot dead. And thereafter, another mass shooting happened. Streams of mass shootings have taken place. Biden and his administration, Democrats, they are still asking so many questions. How will they and does this gang control? I have one uh, critical question to ask. You preach American democracy to Americans. They misuse it. You want to spearhead global democracy. Do you think it will work? Your own house is burning. Gun control is a very small thing. You need majority in Senate and, and the Congress to approve. But because you know a white man rules with the iron fist and gun is his power in America, that's why you cannot put it off. You cannot allow restrictions like where they did in, in Australia. Australia, you cannot have a military weapon anymore since the, I think since 19, since 2018. And they have managed to curtail the supply of the, of the, of the ammunition to the Mauritia groups and innocent people. If you want to go down, go down alone. You don't need necessarily to go out on rampage of shooting, killing people. They have done nothing to you. Shooting people in the comp complex, in the shopping malls, is disgusting. But what can be done? Registrators have failed. They're not doing anything concerning this in America. Gun manufacturers and resellers, they're making damn money out of these sales. Do you have a critical system that you can use? to vet the people who are holding these guns? Or can we reduce the amount of uh, ammunition in numbers you can hold? Maybe one magazine per gun. What is the work of the FBI and CIA on the data analytics? These fishy behaviors of the people going on rampage and shooting and killing people can be tamed by these institutions because they have the capacity to do this. You don't need necessarily even to to go to an extra mile of engaging the civil societies. They have got nothing to do with this. Before somebody prepares for a gun, he premeditates about it and he has to hint on the social media, social platforms, or the Afro and surrounding him or her. Initially, these need to be tamed because it's a deep thinking, which is psychological behavior. Or trying physically through gestures and actions, digitally or physically engagement, mentioning hints, or drafting something quick, peculiar. You know, it's overwhelming. But how do we go to the bottom of the matter? American government needs to come up with a very tight gun control measures and a very strict background checkup and the safety and precaution on how to handle these ammunitions needs to be put on board even before releasing the, 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 the policies on how the guns should be used or bought or possessed. Many will die and will continue to die because of the long people will be in power to protect minorities. And the people who are suffering are ordinary people, especially black communities, and the gun was meant for that because they look at the statistics and they see the people who are dying out of this gun violence, they are black people. The white people is very rare to find a bunch of white people being shot. It's a very rare occurrence because the neighborhoods they live in, they are well protected and there's and there are a, a policies and the policing works. It's effective. But in the gun in the black communities, there is lawlessness and uh, all kind of chaos. And all this takes me back to what I was talking about. These hot-tempered people who don't have a second thought when they are trying to instigate this violence against innocent people. Is all about the food you eat. 
the mental status is attributed and triggered by the kind of the food you eat. And I go back to literally it once again. Can we change the eating habits and the eating diets in the United States? Can we do that? Yes, we can. Stop eating this food I'm talking about from these supermarkets, from these mechanizers. Stop eating this food from these fast food restaurants. Cook your own organic food. That food is rich in nutrients. That food will not make you hyper. I don't see the need for me to have an argument with you within a second. Then the next minute, you're dead. And the argument maybe was just to give me away. Or I came first. Like another, there's a case in Alabama. A woman was shot outside a McDonald's shop because of telling a man, I wasn't fast before you in the lane. And now you need to let me come and take my order. The guy went back to the car and drew a gun, came and shot a woman, and then he drove off. Within a couple of days, he was arrested, and now he is facing murder. Are you guys understanding what I'm trying to talk about? Why that kind of anger? What is contributing to you to reach that point whereby you can be angry to an extent? To an extent whereby you can get a gun and smoke out somebody. What is contributing to that? If it's not the food you eat that controls the mind you, the way you think and the way you reason out, I need to know. And that's why I'm keeping on insisting. Hit that subscription button there. You subscribe to the channel so that we can we can go on fighting out what is causing this problem because this pandemic is reaching gruesome figures and levels and actually we don't know what to do next you get out of the house you walk you go to your place of work you never come back home you are on the road road ranges people are changing your lanes and insulting one another they are creating havoc we need to do something about this. Tisha Boo. How are you? Fine. You want to say something here? What do you want to say? What do you want to tell the people? My name is Elizabeth. My mom is going to work. My brother is going to school. And with my dad here. And mommy. And me, I'm here with my small dog. Wow. You hear the baby speaking fluently? That's what I like. This baby needs his father. So why should I go and expose myself to an environment that is gun prone? What can we do to stop this nonsense on the street? Load ranges, load rampage. Ten people shot by a white supremacist in the United States. Yes, yeah. In Buffalo. Yes, yeah, is shot. We need to do something concerning this matter. We cannot allow this shit to continue happening in the way it is. And if we allow this to continue happening, then we are, we are promoting violence. We are not even uh, peacekeepers, decision makers, debaters. Each and every person who is affected by this gun violence go back to the community and initiate a communication with the people. You come up with a strategy on how to formulate measures that are going to tame the existence of this pandemic. We cannot live like this. We can't. How many more do you think you're going to die? You just wake up in the morning where you take your child. You're not even safe. You don't know what will happen. Like now the case of another gun violence in Texas. Somebody went in and did whatever he did shooting people. Black Americans. We need to do something about this. There's a chance to transform and change and be somebody. Not necessarily now, because it takes time to change a culture. We need to clean the environment and our mental status first. We indulge in activities that are spiritually healthy. Spiritualism and mental fitness is the responsibility of an entire society. And that is the only way we will come to a conclusion of having a fundamental priorities and policies that will shape our transition. This generation is lost. Maybe next. 
will stop gun violence. That is my view, not your view. That's not your view, is my view. I have highlighted on what's supposed to be done. And Democrats are not willing to do that. And if it's not Democrats who can change this, what about white supremacists? The Republicans, when they come to power, they support gun violence, they support gun ownership, military arsenals in, in, in the residential domestic environment, and the kind of the food we are eating, and the anger provocation levels. If you combine those, you can get the answer. It's a hav havoc. Food. Change the food you eat. I insist and I reiterate once again, lower the level of anger and the mental distress by looking at the type of the food you are eating. If you do that, there's going to be transformation in what you do. You're going to be in a better position to answer your deep inner spiritual man, the one that makes decisions before you act physically. And then you regret later and you start settling mental issues after things going long. It's very sad. Rest in peace. May the families of those people who died in that catastrophic occurrence in Buffalo a week ago have peace. May God restore what is lost. May God guide them. May God provide them with ample abundance of joy it's not something to joke about not something to be happy about it's something to worry about and find a solution to on how to dissolve it because if we don't do that where are we heading to what we think is going to happen everybody anytime in the neighborhood whenever you leave somebody can wake up in the morning and start shooting people and when such a thing occurs in the neighborhood, maybe sometimes it's happening in the neighborhoods where there has never been gun violence before. And if you ask the society or the people within that environment, they'll tell you what happened to this man. He was a good man, he was a good woman. We never saw any, any, any seriousness, any mental distress or anything related to that. So, we need to pick up one, two or three things here. And address this matter once and for all. Because we ask ourselves in the future, the trauma caused by these gun violence is enormous. It's reaching alarming levels. It's affecting so many people within the society and the communities. We need to act fast even before the things get out of hand. And we find ourselves in a position where we cannot reverse anything. Constitution case there, it cannot help us. The leadership is in place, cannot help us. The community cannot be able to come together because they are tied up. What can transist into effectiveness of the opinions given by the community is the leadership. And if the leadership is biased or just want to side with the business community because of the tax money, well, who are we to condemn? Who are we to condemn? People have aired their grievances. Government is there to, to give condolences to the people affected by the gang violence. That is not enough. What is needed is the ability to say no. We are tired of gang violence. We are tired of gang violence. This is my daughter. She is growing old. If she finds herself in a situation whereby people are exchanging fire she will experience trauma and that trauma she will grow up with it and she will ask a question if a man can carry a gun and shoot people like this am i saving future then if a man can shoot a policeman who is affecting the law then where's the future these are the questions these kids are gonna ask themselves say what she's doing here she's putting the baby on me these are her toy hmm? you like to put the toy on me why <laughs> hmm? Why? <laughs> You're laughing. 
Let's put in the toy on you. I'm putting the toy on so, you. So, let's activate our sixth sense on how to reason out and uh, bring sanity in the communities. Subscribe on that channel. Hit that subscription button. Let me hear your comment and what do you think concerning this matter because it's hurting. I don't want to keep on talking about something I know you know about most of the times. I like digging on topics that are out of sight because we need to bring them to the limelight in order for people to be aware of what's happening behind the scenes. They are reported effective positively or negatively matters. It's the only way to bring them out. Hit that subscription button once again. Support this channel. Subscribe. Don't just watch this video. Subscribe. I want by the end of this month to reach a hundred subscribers. I'm working with the targets and more and more content is going to keep on coming. If you know you happen to watch this video, ensure you subscribe so we can go further and further and dig deeper concerning these matters because these matters are stressing and everybody wants to hear opinions. Some are educative, some are progressive, some are positive, some are, are encouraging. It matters. Anyway, have a good day.